What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm uh, having a discussion with my wife right now. She's going to fall into the background and continue to browse her iPad. But we're talking about Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered. Now, I'm one of the guys who's probably a little bit more excited to play Modern Warfare Remastered because it looks amazing. I've seen tons of videos on it. Digital Foundry has gone through and showed all the new perks and tweaks and the way the game looks really modern and beautiful, right? So I want to play it. Believe it or not, Modern Warfare is a game I've never played. I never had a chance to play it. I didn't get into Call of Duty until Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I was just one of those guys that came to the party late, you know, like I always do. But some recent information has kind of come out that really makes me question whether or not this is something I want to buy. And it's a really simple thing for me, and I know everybody doesn't have this unique circumstance. So let me paint this picture. I primarily play on PlayStation 4. Uh, and the reason for that is because my wife is also a PlayStation 4 gamer, and whenever I buy a game digitally, I get two copies of the game. It's called game sharing. It's totally legit. I've got videos on how you do it. You buy one game, and you have two accounts, and basically it goes from one PlayStation to another. It's really easy and simple to do. So what I do is I buy a game digitally, and my wife will have the same game on her PS4, and that way we can play together. Luckily for me, I mean, everybody doesn't have the same circumstance, but my wife loves to play games. She loves gaming just like me. And so it makes a lot of sense for me. Like every game I buy, I'll usually get it on PS4 uh, because I get two copies. Now, the information about Modern Warfare is this. Coming from the official Call of Duty fan site called Charlie Intel. I know a lot of Call of Duty gamers know that site. It's basically stating that in order to play Modern Warfare Remastered, you must have the Infinite Warfare disc in the console. And this is from the website itself. It says, quote, Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game download. In parentheses, game disc must be inserted to play Modern Warfare Remastered, end quote. So does that mean if you buy the $80 bundle that you're going to get a disc and a digital download key? And if you download the game digitally, you've got to have the disc in in order to play Modern Warfare? I mean, if that's the case, that's a deal breaker for me. I don't like that idea. I prefer to just do the entire thing digitally. If I can do it all digitally, it makes perfect sense for me. It'll work. It'll it'll fall right in line with the system that I have in place now. And for people who only do digital downloads, this is going to suck. I don't know exactly what Activision's plans are as far as getting just purely digital versions of this. I understand that Modern Warfare is going to be a digital download. They need to make the entire package a digital package. You know, that's what, exactly what it needs to be. There don't need to be really any discs involved, especially if you want to play Modern Warfare. You should not have to have an Infinite Warfare disc in there. It feels kind of like DRM. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you heard anything about this? I might not be, you know, the latest bit of news on this. I think I'm pretty close. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you need the Infinite Warfare disc inside your console in order to play the Modern Warfare Remastered? If that's the case... That's going to bode very, very badly for people like myself who do primarily digital-only games. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. And tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.